Hey guys, welcome to another devlog for my ancient Greek themed tower defense game that I'm building in Unity. Today we'll be working on getting some characters into the game. Now, whenever I'm working on my game or coming up with new ideas, I'm always writing it down in this book here. And recently I designed all the abilities for each character and how each character should be upgraded, which looks like this. Now, it might look like some madhouse writing, and it kind of is, but it will make sense in a moment. Now, before we get into that though, I have a few characters set up, but my budget on art is very limited. So I have three variations of visuals. And this has become a bit of a problem for testing when I have multiple characters on screen and I lose track of what character I've selected and what upgrades that character has. So I'm gonna to start today by creating a little debugger tool for the editor, just to help me find what character I'm selecting and what abilities they have attached to them. So let's jump straight into it. just finished getting the character debugger set up. So when we place a character now, it actually shows who you're selecting and what abilities they have. There's probably a bit more I can add to it, but I don't wanna to waste too much time with it today. So I will move back onto getting the characters set up. I have 11 planned characters with four different classes, and there is room to expand on that as development continues. So we'll see how that goes. But for now we have five characters completely in with all of their upgrades. And of course the values of these upgrades will just be modified as development and testing of the game goes on. So it might change slightly, but I'll show you the process for creating a character from this book that I have. So I've already set up all of the hero scriptable objects. So the template for these characters already exists, but it's actually about making them unique and giving them character specific abilities and upgrades. I'm currently working on Poseidon's third upgrade path it's pretty simple, the more characters I make, the easier it becomes to make new ones, but I just add the values based on what I have written for them. So tier one will be shot speed, reload time, and range. And I just have to find the path three tier one upgrade and add those upgrades in as necessary. Then once I get to an upgrade that I haven't coded in yet, and for my own ease, I just circle it so I know I haven't done it yet, and I get coding. So Poseidon's tier four ability is to passively add money to you at the end of each round. And I haven't done that, so I'll quickly code up a system to get that working. Fortunately, that didn't take too long. A lot of the existing systems that I have created are super robust that makes creating abilities or upgrades pretty simple. Now the big time sinkers with this process is just repeated testing to make sure the abilities are behaving how I intend. And eventually there will be a big quality of life overhaul, which will probably be at the same time the visuals get done. But for now, that is the process of creating a character. Once I'm happy with the state of the character, ignoring the balancing and actual values of the abilities or upgrades, I just move on to the next one. And like I said, there is a lot of shared abilities. Like most characters will have a rate of fire or shot speed. So once I code in a system, it's pretty likely that it will be reused for a different character at some point. So once it gets to that point, I just have to plug in the value and I will just know that it works. I'm gonna jump back into it and create a few more characters today. I just got done creating another two characters. When working on new abilities or upgrades, I like to make them as generic and modular as possible so that there's many use cases for them. With the abilities and upgrades, I'm also using a data-oriented stack rather than object-oriented 
and it can be easy for the abilities to get jumbled because of this. So I've also created a few tools for validating abilities and adding preset abilities from various combinations. For something like a status effect, which can be broken down into damage, duration, and frequency, I have an enum that correlates to this ability. But I also have a custom property draw for the ability object, which allows me to create buttons or GUI elements in the inspector, which I normally wouldn't get from Unity. So I just have to create an ability instance and I can select from the preset enum any of the abilities that are slightly more complicated to design and just click the button to create it and it will populate that ability list. This also just saves time in having to look for the abilities themselves, but the bigger one is probably just human error in case I forget a part of the ability or something like that. I also spent a bit of time updating how the projectile targeting works. So originally the interface I was using was just looking for the enemy class, but one of the new abilities introduced, which was an AOE buff for friendly units, needed the hero class. Now it wasn't too difficult to adapt the system to handle heroes and enemies because I had already designed it for those classes to derive from the same base unit class. A little refactor, but I got it working. Now today, just a quick devlog just to show off the character design process. Next video, all the characters should be finished um, and it'll probably just be me working on enemy variations and slowly putting all the system together to create a game. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to support the channel, then pressing the magical YouTube buttons helps push my content out to a wider audience. Thanks again and I'll catch you guys very soon. Take care.